Hello YouTubers, this is a geek must have with a post mailbag of some purchases from last November 11th. November 11th is known as Singles Day as a holiday in China and it is one of the largest shopping days in the world where the entire country of China goes on sale for one small five dollar package at a time. Last November 11th I must have gone just a little mad. Watch this video and see the results of the 1111 madness. One of the type of projects is related to my grandson's love of cars, trucks, and just basically anything that moves. So I said to myself, self, you need some motors, gears, axles, and such to make all that stuff move. So, without a defined project or a proper list of items, I went off into the November 11th fog and pressed the buy button. I pressed it a lot. Unlike other typical post bag videos, where you get to watch me open up packages, which are almost always mislabeled and have unknown contents, this video shows the items after they have been opened, removed from the packages, and prepped ready for inventory. I've also left a link in the description where you can view all the details of each of these items from this November Madness. This item is the TT130 geared electric motor. Uh, it has an axle on either side, so you can take these uh, 66 millimeter wheels and push them onto the axle from either side to make the kit and this runs on anywhere from 3 to 6 volts possibly even up to 9 volts. Here I've hooked up the uh, TT130 to power supply have dialed in at about uh, 2.8 volts and it's using about uh, 81 milliamps of power. Put a little load on and it goes up to about 120 milliamps of power. The next item are these bags of gears, pulleys, associated long gears, and all sorts of other stuff. So these bags has got about 75 parts in it. already started to fall to the floor. There's gears, there's little pulleys, gears of all sizes, some rubber bands, more gears, little axle dinghies, regular gears that would fit on a motor. Just a hodgepodge of gears and spacers. The next item are these gray plastic hub wheels with solid foam uh, tires on them. And these are 55 millimeters in diameter. Uh, I think the center hole is probably about 3 millimeters. This item is a uh, plastic wheel, has a 2 millimeter diameter shaft on it, and it's a solid plastic wheel made to look like rubber. Uh, 20 millimeter diameter on them, uh, about 6 millimeters across. Uh, these are pretty cheap, but uh, for some projects they might be pretty nice. The next item is uh, another set of plastic rims with rubber tires. Only these are pretty industrial. Uh, it has a 3 millimeter shaft. T tires are actually made out of rubber. Pretty industrial little ones. This next item are these Mabuchi 
180 SH motors. They're uh, run anywhere from two and a half volts down to, or up to about three, up to about three and a half volts. Um, relatively high speed, 7,700 RPM to 8,100 RPM, depending on how many volts you push through it, and they're roughly uh, about 32 millimeters across. They have flat sides on them, which means that they're fairly easy to mount, and they also have little screw holes in the front to mount them from the front if you want. This is the Mabuchi 180 SH motor. I'm running it at uh, almost 2 volts, and it's drawing uh, 118, 120 milliamps. Turn it up just a little bit. It says max is 3 volts, so... Two and a half, still drawing 125 milliamps. The next item are these little N20 DC motors, and they run on anywhere from one and a half volts all the way up to about four volts. And depending on the voltage, you can go anywhere from 16,000 RPM all the way up to 39,500 RPM. Uh, I like them. They have little flat sides on them. And like most motors, they have little uh, holes in the front to help you mount them. The little tiny shaft on it is only a millimeter in size. Uh, a lot of propellers are that size. This is the little uh, N20 motor. I'm running at it at about 2 volts. And it's drawing about 137 milliampers. However, this has zero torque whatsoever. It's very easy to push this beyond 300 milliamps by just touching on the shaft. Uh, this should go up to about 3, 4 volts. So push it just a little bit. There's 3 volts right about there. The next item goes along with this N20 motor, and these are little mounts. So they're made out of plastic. They basically go over the motor and allow you to screw it down to a surface pretty securely. So the little N20 motor mounts, made out, made out of ABS plastic. This item is a set of 48 millimeter wide Rubber tires on rubber tires on a little plastic rim with uh, what appears to be about a three millimeter shaft or a three millimeter hole for the shaft. Those are pretty nice looking. They look like little mag wheels. The next item is this teeny tiny little motor. So, 14 millimeters long, it's about 6 millimeters in diameter, and it's a round motor, and it doesn't have any holes in the front to mount it or anything, so it's a nice, it does have the wires on it, because I would hate to have to solder the wires onto a little motor that's that small. Uh, runs on um, 3 to 4 volts at about 55,000 RPMs. Here I've hooked it up to my my Dr. Meter power supply. I got it dialed up to 3.7 volts. That thing really is humming. And it's warm. And yeah, back it down a little bit. It's about two two and a half volts. That little puppy's really spinning. This item is the uh, R140 motor. It runs on 3 volts. It's a completely round motor. It doesn't have any flat sides on it whatsoever. Uh, 
runs on 3 volts, has a speed of about 13k RPM, has a uh, 2 millimeter shaft on it, has holes in the front to mount it, and holes in the back to mount it. This is the R140 motor, running it at about 2.5 volts right now. It's drawing uh, 135, 140 milliamps. I'm going to bump it up to 3 volts. At 3 volts, it's going quicker, and it's also taking 150 milliamps now. Push it just a little bit more. Yeah, it's 3.2 volts. It's drawing 155 milliamps, and it's quieted down. There it is at about 3 volts, and you can hear it. I'll turn it back up. This item is the bigger brother to that R140. This is a R385 motor. Runs on 6 to 12 volts and goes anywhere from 3000 RPM to 6500 RPM. Uh, it does have some M2.5 screws in the front and unthreaded ones in the back that you could use. But this is a higher torque motor. Very popular motor for a lot of projects. The shaft on this is 2.3 millimeters. Alright, this is the R85 motor, which uh, can be driven at 6 volts. I'm driving it at 3 volts right now, and it's taking uh, 93 milliamps. I'm going to push it up a little bit. And that's 6. Drawing 97 milliamps at 6 volts. The next item is this YG300R. Uh, it's called a solar motor. I don't know why solar. But it's anywhere from 1.5 to 6 volts. It has the wires attached to it, and it has a whole bunch of mounting holes on the top of this thing. And the speed on this is uh, up to 5,500 RPM. This is the YG300R solar motor, as they call it. Uh, fairly thin motor. Uh, runs anywhere from 1 volt all the way up to uh, 6 volts. And at 1 volt it's drawing uh, 18 milliampers. Doesn't make a lot of noise. It's hard to hear it above the regular lab noise. I'm going to turn it up. Ooh. I'm at 3 volts and at 21 milliamps. Four volts, 26 milliamps. And at six volts, I got 31 milliamps. Very little vibration. Surprising. This thing is spinning at 5,500 RPM. And it's almost impossible to tell it's running. This item is another set of uh, 130 motors. Uh, they have flat sides on them. They have flat sides on them. It's a 2 millimeter axle on there. doesn't have any mounting holes on the front or the back. So these must be destined to snap into something. They run on anywhere from 3 to 6 volts and can go uh, anywhere from 17,000 to 18,000 RPM. This is the 130 small DC motor. Uh, runs anywhere from 3 to 5 volts. And the speed on it is anywhere from 17 to 18,000 and 
This one's this one's a Hummer. You can hear it. I'm running it at two volts right now, and it's 325 milliamps. So there's a big draw on this motor. I'm gonna crank it up to. You can hear the noise when I crank up the voltage. And it's now up to 400 milliamps. And I'm at 4 volts. Move it up to 5. And at 5, it went, it's at 435, 450 milliamps. I believe with the amount of amperage this uses, there's probably quite a bit of torque on these little 130 motors. This item is a very thin motor. It's called an ultra thin. It's a 400 motor. And it comes with a uh, what they call a clover propeller. Uh, it's a uh, motor that is very similar to one of the other motors that we had. Has some mounting holes on the front. Runs on six volts and um, goes up to 4,700 RPM. Very low amperage on this one. And it has a three and a half millimeter shaft on it. That's the right size to fit this clover propeller. This is the ultra thin 400 motor. It's the little thinner motor that comes with what they call the clover propeller on it. And it runs all the way up to 6 volts. I'm running it at 2 volts now, and it's using 9 milliamps of power. I'm going to turn it up to 3. At 3 volts, it's using about 14 milliamps. Turn it up to 5. At 5, it's using 24 milliamps of power. And we'll push it up to 6. And at 6, it's using 33 milliamps. And it's a surprisingly smooth motor, even with that fan on it. It's not putting out a whole lot of air flow, but it is really moving. This item is another N30 high-speed motor uh, with a uh, black propeller. The propeller fits on the shaft, which has a one millimeter sh shaft on it. This runs on six volts and is a 12k RPM motor. Uh, it says on the instructions 12k to 19k. I don't know why the bag has 35k on it. And the propeller is 55 millimeters wide. This is the N30 mini high speed motor. It runs anywhere from uh, 1 to 6 volts, and it goes anywhere from 12,000 to 19,000 RPM. It says it's uh, 0 0.02 of an ampere, but I'm running it at 2 volts, and I'm getting 300 milliampers at 2 volts. I'm going to turn it up to 3. It's now using 634 milliampers, and it sounds like it's about to take off out of my hand, and it puts out quite a bit of airflow. I'm going to crank it up to 5. I'm getting almost an amp. 926 milliampers. And the power supply is about to cut out. This is one hell of a motor. This item is another one of those coreless little tiny, tiny motors. Well, I have the wires on them already. With a little tiny blue propeller.
This runs at 1.5 volts and uh, supposedly goes up to almost 11k RPM and he has a very low amperage drive and a 0 0.01 amp. Probably has no torque whatsoever but it's like a little airplane motor. This is the uh, little tiny coreless motor with the blue propeller on it. Uh, it runs at uh, 1.5 volts and at uh, 10,000 or 11,000 RPM. And I'm driving it at a volt and a half and it's drawing about 100 milliamps of power. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit more. Got it at 2 volts and it's using 180 milliampers of power. Not a whole lot of power. I say it's a helicopter motor. This next item is a set of these uh, plastic uh, wheel tire combination. And these are the real cheap ones. They're uh, 20 millimeters in diameter six millimeters across and have like a uh, 1.5 millimeter shaft on the outside of them and while they're made to look like rubber they're entirely made out of plastic. The next item are some plastic and rubber wheels. These are a little better quality kind of like the orange color on them. They are uh, 30 millimeters across and ten and a half millimeter tread on them and if you pry hard enough you probably could get the tires off. And it's a two millimeter axle for a uh, two millimeter shafted motor. These are kind of nice looking. The next item are uh, another bag of gears. These are 58 styles of gears anywhere from six to 30 millimeters across. So it's a big bag of gears with uh, shafts varying anywhere from one millimeter all the way up to about three, three millimeters and a bunch of little gear motors, gears as well. So that's big bag of gears. And the next item is one of these little car kits which comes with a set of instructions. Of course, written entirely in Chinese, but pretty good visuals. And this is one that uses some plastic wheels, a uh, solar panel, a little tiny solar panel in here, and a very, very tiny uh, motor with a gear on it already. All sorts of spacers and the likes. So this is a whole kit that you assemble, and it is a solar car. This item is a small little geared motor. It's an N20 motor, N20 size motor, with a uh, about a five, four or five millimeter axle on it, and it uh, rotates down from 600 RPM, which is what the motor is geared at, and the gearing down gears it down to about 15 RPM. And when you gear a motor down like that, what you get is a lot more torque, but less speed. So this is the, what they call GA12 N20 motor. And I'm running it at about a volt, and it's taking 11 milliampers power, and it's turning relatively slowly, as you can see by the axle coming around. I'm going to pump this up to 3. So here it is at 3. And you can see it's rotating quicker. And it's taking about 16 milliampers. And I'm going to bump it up to uh, about 5. There's 5. And it's moving even quicker. And it's taking 21 milliampers. So let's have some mounting holes on the front to be able to mount it. And it's a standard N20 motor, so one of those little N20 plastic mounts would work real well with this. This 
is what happens when you don't have a plan or a parts list and AliExpress is having their November 11th sale. It's called Motor Madness. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that possibly you were entertained, educated, or even laughed a little bit. And if you did, please click on that like button for me. And please support me by subscribing to my channel. Every one of the subscribers that I get makes me smile. I'm trying to make 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Please be one of those subscribers. I have a associated blog called geekmusthave.com where I rant on about everything technical. Please come and visit me. And I'll have my email address listed in the description below in case you want to write me a message. Uh, especially write me a message if you want me to test any one of these motor madness items out. Thank you and have a good one.